Hello Pisces, welcome to your February Astrological Insights video. I'm Maria De Simone, your astrologer, and you can find out more about me and my work over at insightfulastrology.com where you can schedule a personal consultation or sign up for one of my astrology classes. Right now, registration is open for the Aspects in Astrology class, which helps you connect the dots in a horoscope into meaningful horoscope analysis. So if you already know the planets, the signs, the houses, the structure of a birth chart, this is the class that you want to register for next. All of my classes are personalized using your birth charts in the lesson plans and the homework assignments. So it's like getting a personal consultation and learning astrology all at once. $50 early bird tuition discount is available right now on my website so i hope you go and claim a spot soon and let's talk about your main february theme which actually doesn't fully pop until the end of february but it's lingering and all month long i think it's kind of like you're having this this reckoning this awakening this awareness that something is needs to change between you and a partner whether it's business or your personal life and what I'm speaking of specifically is the fact that on the 24th, there will be a full moon in your partnership sector, full moon in Virgo. This full moon, full moons are always a time of transition because the nature of the moon is fluctuation. And at the full moon, everything is illuminated. Everything is heightened. Emotions are heightened. So full moons can bring an ending, a break, or can bring illumination fulfillment, gratification. But either way, there is a transition and there is awareness, a deep awareness that happens. That deep awareness for you, Pisces, is finally going to be about this particular relationship and the direction that it's headed. It's a serious full moon because it is exactly opposite Saturn and Mercury. So we have Mercury, the sun, Saturn, all in your sign. And the moon itself is, is directly opposite Mercury. That opposition, the Mercury is the ruler of the moon because the moon's in Virgo. Virgo is a sign ruled by, by Mercury. That means that the Lord or the ruler of this moon is in opposition to it. And Mercury moon oppositions have a nature of being reactive emotionally because you're not able to separate your emotions from your, intu your, your intellect, your mind. The left brain and the right brain can't be separated very easily when there is a difficult moon-mercury exchange. The moon is your heart and mercury is your head. And these are in opposition at the time of the full moon. So what is frustrating to you is that you know that you, your brain knows a, about a decision that it has to make connects to this relationship, but your heart doesn't want to make it and they're not aligned. Okay. So your heart wants to do one thing. Your brain wants to do another thing. Basically, that's what it is. And what's going to win? What will win in the end? In the end, what will win is the most practical solution because Saturn is also opposite the moon. Saturn opposite the moon it is a grief transit, I'm not gonna lie. It is a difficult pattern. Saturn limits, restricts what it touches when it is in hard aspect especially. So the square of the opposition. And Saturn moon exchanges tend to bring emotional malnourishment or emotional difficulty when it's a square or an opposition specifically. This is not an easy full moon for you Pisces. So I know there is something brewing all month long that's going to climax around this full moon this full moon is where you're going to call it you may end a relationship you may end a business connection and not everybody is ending but if you're staying in a relationship at this time i think it is more because of the obligation more because of this sense of duty the sense of responsibility that you may be feeling or this sense that you rely on the other person at this point for so much emotionally or maybe even materially, physically, you're, there is this reliance that that's the motivator to stay together more than that deep emotional connection. So there's a split here. Something is not quite matched and not everybody's breaking up. Not everybody's in a, a horrible relationship, okay? 
I'm not looking at your particular birth chart, Pisces. You have to remember this. This is general. But this full moon in general is not easy. And it is emotional. And it could really bring a difficult event, a difficult situation, a difficult conversation to light between you and a partner where you're one of you is saying, hey, I am not emotionally satisfied in this connection. My emotional needs are not being met. They haven't been met in a long time. What are we going to do about it? Is there a way to repair this? Saturn does have the ability to repair when it wants to, but Saturn can also break what is broken and beyond repair permanently. And only you know what's really happening in your life, in your personal world, and what you're really feeling. This is a full moon where you're going to be unable to ignore your feelings about a personal connection. And again, this could be business. This could be work-related. This doesn't have to be your personal life. If you are completely single and this doesn't involve business, this could be an awareness of... You having to take responsibility for getting your own emotional needs met at this time in your life and stop trying to project that responsibility onto another person. And when you take full ownership of nourishing yourself emotionally, something very powerful happens because at that point you then have the ability to enter into a relationship, not because you need the person but because you want that person to be in your life, because that person adds value, because that person has something to offer you to expand and help you grow and vice versa, and you have something to offer that person. So that's the theme that I'm seeing if you're a single Pisces. But I want you to let me know in the comments how you relate to this conversation and what's going on in your life specifically connected to this topic. And again, it could be business or personal. And, uh, you know, be gentle with yourself nourish yourself, do whatever you need at the end of the month to make yourself feel safe and secure and okay because you could be a little raw and tender. All right. I am wishing you all the best. You're going to get through this and you're going to do what you need to do to make your life the most empowered. And I will see you next month.